Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the uh, first example. Given. Okay, given. A mechanical system. Okay, this is the mechanical system given. A... Uh, mechanical system mass the single degree of freedom and a spring single spring okay we have k here okay soon assumption x is measured from equilibrium position Okay, this is the assumption. X is measured from equilibrium position. Find uh, equation of motion. Okay, first using the energy method. Can we use energy method here? Yes, we can. Why? Because there is no damper. The system is conservative. How to do? How to use the energy method? Okay. Find the total kinetic energy and find the total potential energy. Kinetic energy. We have only moving mass here in translational motion. So the only kinetic energy from the moving mass m, uh, the velocity, which is x dot squared. Uh, Potential energy. Potential energy is from the spring, half k, x squared. What about the potential energy of the mass? Remember, x is measured from uh, pot uh, from the uh, uh, equilibrium uh, position. So the uh, potential energy of the mass will be uh, cancelled. It will be uh, neglected or cancelled with the uh, static deflection of the uh, spring. So this is the only potential energy in the system okay all right now how to find the equation of motion the total kinetic and potential energy at any time must be equal to zero that means the time derivative of the total potential and kinetic energy must be equal to zero and from here half m x dot squared plus half k x squared equal to zero take the time derivative it's going to be m x dot x double dot remember this from differential equation k x x dot equal to zero what's the common here x dot outside m x double dot plus k x equal to zero x dot is not equal to zero all the time so this equation m x double dot plus k x equal to zero this is your equation of motion we got it also find the natural frequency it's very easy what's the natural frequency divide the uh, coefficient of x by the mass Okay, so the natural frequency will be square root k over m. Okay, that's all. We got it. All right. So this is the first part of the problem. Second part. Second part. Find the equation of motion and the kinetic energy using the... Uh, Using the uh, the method, the classical method that we know. Oops, I don't know what's the problem with the using the uh, uh, Newton second law. Can we use a Newton second law? Yes, Newton second law is valid for any problem, conservative or non-conservative. Okay, that's good. But but. For Newton's second law, we always need what, ya shabab? We always need the free body diagram. We need to draw the free body diagram, always. This is the first step, 
for Newton's second law. So this is x. This is the mass. Okay. Show the reaction force, the reaction force from the spring against the motion, which is equal kx. And this is your free body diagram. We got it. This is the first step. Second step, apply Newton's second law. Summation of forces on this body equal the mass times the acceleration. Where is the pos positive direction of force? Above. Huh? This is the positive with x. So this is going to be minus kx equal mx double dot. So mx double dot plus kx equal to zero. And this is your equation of motion. We got it. Natural frequency from the equation of motion. This coefficient divided by this coefficient. Square root of this coefficient divided by the other one. It's going to be k over m. And we got it. خلاص. All right. So this is the first example. All right. So let me stop this. See you in the next example.